Let's talk about accrued liabilities. Accrued liabilities result from expenses that we have incurred but have not yet paid. Typically, you'll see salaries and wages payable, interest payable, income taxes payable, all as a result of expenses that have been incurred but not been paid. For example, we had workers who worked for us during the last week of our accounting period. However, we do not pay them until the following week. The expense is for the current period, but we are not going to pay them until the following period. So we still have to record the salary expense by debiting salaries and wages expense and crediting salaries and wages payable. That would be an accrued liability. Similarly, we know that we have an income tax expense for the period. We calculate our income before income taxes and then calculate our income tax expense. That income tax that we calculate is not payable immediately, it's payable in the near future. So we accrue those expenses. What we do is we debit income tax expense and credit income tax payable. Let's take a little deeper look at payroll. Payroll is a major expense for most companies and it shows up in many different forms. You'll see salaries, you'll see wages, sometimes you'll see commissions. All those are payroll expenses. There are liabilities that arise because of payroll. Employee income tax payable is a payroll liability. This represents how much income tax has been withheld from the employee's paycheck. If you get a job and you get paid $10,000 as a salary, you do not get to take home the entire $10,000. They are going to withhold a certain amount of income tax that you should be paying the IRS. They will take that from your paycheck. The next category, the FICA tax payable, is also withheld from your paycheck. FICA tax payable is your Medicare and your Social Security taxes. Those are also withheld from your paycheck and remitted to IRS. Finally, the salaries payable is the amount of the check that gets paid to the employee. Let's take a look at an example. On January 14th, the end of its first pay period for the year, Fleming Company's January payroll record showed that its employees had earned $8,000. The employees are said to have the following items withheld from their pay. $612 of FICA and $10,020 of income taxes. Prepare the journal entry to record the accrual of the payroll. So, let's calculate first of all how much the employee is going to take home. That's their net pay. They start off with salaries of 8,000, so the salaries are 8,000, but 612 FICA withholdings are deducted from their paychecks. $1,020 of income taxes are also withheld from their paychecks. So the net pay, the take home pay, is going to be $6,368. Remember, the 612 FICA and the 1020 federal income taxes are withheld by the employer. These are employees' portion of taxes that are withheld by the employer and then remedied to the IRS. Now let's do the journal entry to record the accrual of the payroll. The monthly salaries are $8,000. So the salaries expense is $8,000. Expenses incre are increased by debits and are Expenses went up by 8000 so we're going to debit $8,000 for salaries. Now let's look at the credit side. We withheld 612 FICA, so that is FICA taxes payable of 612. When the payments are due, we will remit it to the IRS. Next, we withheld income taxes of 1020 Those also are liabilities, so income taxes payable is a credit of 1020 Again, it's a liability. That will also get remedied to IRS when it's due. Finally, we have the amount we need to actually cut a check for the employees. That is salaries payable. Salaries payable are 6,368. Your debits equal your credit. Now your journal entry is complete.
the $8,000 salary's expense will be shown on your income statement. The FICA payable, the income taxes payable, and the salary's payable will be a current liability on your balance sheet.